Welcome back, everyone. Have a good one, bud. Yeah, same to you, bro. Um, yeah, so I thought I'd put this through for the day. What we got for... I put this through as a follow-up. See how much we're going to get out of this load. Good. This is all I can find in the glass in the in the load. So let's just get get to and put it through, I suppose. Oh, load of crap! Load of junk. Mating around, oh, maybe $60, $70 for today. That's not too bad. Right, that's that one done. Just move him down the road, push him up. They're very, very slippery today. Do you think all the new subscribers that have subscribed? Totally astounded me on how many we've got. I didn't think we'd grow that quick. Electronic water, you should go through. There you go. Don't you just hate that? Too bad so far. Seventeen dollars. Aussie dollars. That's just our glass. Still gone. Eighteen dollars. We might get nineteen dollars out of this. Twenty bucks. Twenty schmackaroos. Yeah. 
We ain't gonna go over the 20 smackaroos. Is there a 20? So it's 205 years. 20 dollars and 50 cents. Damn, that's good. Anyway, we'll get to and put the um, cans, cartons, plastic through. Not much left after filling those two. That's pretty damn good. Makes my life easy. Uh, we'll find out how much we're going to get out of this one. Let's just start. So go. I did find some more glass too, so I'll put that through after I finish this one and that one. Um, there's only about a couple there, so we'll add to that twenty dollars and whatever it was. So I might add up to twenty-one dollars in the glass. Days it surprised me on how much I do actually get. Some days I don't get much at all. Like today, for instance, I didn't know I was going to get that much from one location at our very first pickup. Say the very first pick up of picnic pack, go in there. One, two, three, four, five glass. So that's 50 cents. We will try and do both at the same time. Hopefully I can. Should be able to. Well, that's not going to go through. Why? What's wrong with you? <laughs> this is challenging. Oh, why? Oh, I'll get back to this one. I'll do that in a minute. Oh, because it's not the glass one. That one, I've got to go further over. That's too far to reach. I'll leave that all there. And, uh, so, yeah, that's why it's not going through. Silly me.
Yeah, mate, I actually am. I've just got to put them through, but I use my phone, mate. Yeah, bro. Uh, I just, I more. just, <laughs> yeah, I understand you, mate. I understand you. I thought, ah, oh, bugger, I'll chuck him in here for you. Take this one. Anyway, let's get back into this. Last trolley, car's empty. Sweet. Oh, no, no, I'm down here for sure. Yeah, nah. I'm down here, try to be down here every Monday, Monday morning. No, we were down here yesterday and I just got the kids all over one after the rest of the world's been working. Oh, alright, fair enough. Work a year and yeah. So I've done a couple of days. No, so. see, I used to accumulate this stuff and then bring it down. I've got sick of doing that. Well, I haven't got sick of it. I, I've basically uh, thought, well, I don't want to store it at my own place and get a whole heap of it there. I thought, oh, I might as well put it through every time I get some. Yeah, yeah I'm thinking instead of letting it build up it's yeah it's just easy to come down here and do a bag and then you're not as frustrated yeah yeah that's it mate yeah that's what i way i'm looking at it too you know because you know i had that ute this morning um pretty much three quarters full i'd already put me glass put the glass through um got about 21 dollars out of my glass somewhere around there um don't know what i'm getting out of this I think I've already put about $30 of cans through. Besides this trolley, so that's not too bad for a morning's work. No. I'll be back here again tomorrow. <laughs> hey, I don't mind. Someone's got it. It's a, it's, a, it's a cool thing. Whenever um, I get, I'll buy a carton of it anyway. So <laughs> Ah, oh. oh, fair enough. See, you're recycling, recycling. <laughs> Constant recycle. They should do on the right thing and not just chucking it in the bin like I see a lot of people do that. They go and buy it and oh, I couldn't be bothered bringing it down. It's not that hard. It's not worth like 
Yeah. And then one bite said, no, no, because we'll make it to the blocks or a bin or something, and we'll simply just throw one and throw it in. Yeah. That's what he said. He goes, oh, no, no, that makes him much out of it. He goes, five or six blocks a week. But if you add that up over t 12, you know, 12 months, it's a fair bit. Yeah. Well, I sort of look at it and think, you know, I sort of people would, you know, do the streets and things like that, and go through the bins and yep. stuff like that. Yep. Maybe it is isn't a hard way to do the coin, but like you do that, nothing else better to do. Oh, well, I've got a job myself, so I go out and get this out of bins myself as, as well, so it's a bit of an e extra income. That's the way I look at it, it's a bit of extra income. Took a bit too long. <laughs> That's all it was. That's why it spattered at you. It don't matter. It all adds up. for me. Sweet. Go and find out how much I got for the day. Me bonus money. <laughs> well there you go. That was pretty damn good. We put through 742 units. Pretty good for the day. So that's 700. Uh, that's not 700. It's 74 dollars and 20 cents. I'm back home at the moment. Um, just thought I'd let you know how much I got for that and uh, give us a little rundown on how what I'm a actually been up to in the past couple of days I've been doing washing machine repairs and scrapping out and all that sort of thing so this is what I've done I've got a 10 kg washing machine here at the moment I've got a problem with the board there where it turns on and um, turns itself off but anyway that's that one this one here I've got a problem with the water the motor spins over but these little solenoids there's a problem with those it comes up with a code e i think it's e10 code and that's all to do with that um currently in the midst of trying to work out why there's two the same two identical 10 kgs brand new and i've picked them up this one's got a buzzing sound we looked at the uh, invoice here a little invoice on what the problems are that one's got a buzzing sound but this one here it says no power but i've plugged it into power put it on spin cycle and it spun for the whole five minutes oh i'm liking that one that's a brand new washing machine they both are brand new so that's all that's all right with me i like them that might get 600 dollars for that one might might i'm not saying i will but uh, the old girl here, this big old industrial looking thing, makes a lot of noise. So I'm going to really look in it. It does go, does spin, that sort of thing. Um, this is how I actually pick them up in this sort of condition. Uh, I've got a dryer here. This one here, you see in the back of it at the moment. Um, 
there's the front of it in pretty good looking nick that is um and then we've got all of this stuff here that we're going to be stripping out i'm trying to hang on to bits out of here and this one here and that one down there just in case i need parts like little solenoids and things like that they sometimes are the same in say some of these top loaders some top loader parts can fit out of this one into another one over there i haven't actually tested to see if these two power up or work yet um getting down to this fridge here the whole door is stainless steel so that's going to be a bummer to pull apart i don't hang on to fridges i actually scrap them whole things out uh the the handle is aluminium um because it's extruded aluminium uh, the fridge that's there, that's going to be done as well. I've still got all of this to go through. They're fridge motors and there's aluminium in there, wire and God knows what. Um, so that's, this is partly what's on the home front. I've been trying to get around to this for the past three weeks and I haven't got there. I'm always in the process of picking up washing machines, getting them going. We've got a dishwasher just up there that I'm going to be pulling apart and scrapping out. So... This is just another dishwasher. Um, it's just our rubbish that we throw away. This is basically all of our copper. Number two copper that's in there. Uh, number one, stripped out nice and clean stuff. That's the clean stuff. That's the good stuff. Um, then in this one here, we've got number two insulated copper. And... Um, then we've got another lot of insulated down there. Chrissy lights there. This was cat wire in here. Yeah, good old cat wire. All been stripped out. Took the casing off it. Try and get a bit better money. Um, ignore that. That's just our, our stuff there. Um, now, I done a bit of a shifting around. We had to bring a bus down for us to have storage. So, yeah, I brought it down. We've got it down here now. So... I've had to do a bit of a shift around. All of our copper pipe is here. Copper alloy. Uh, motors. I think that's... No, that's not motor. Motors is there. Um, and we've got little transformers in there. Uh, around the back out here, we have cast alloy. Now, I was busy yesterday pulling that one apart. That was a lawnmower. That's all cast alloy. Wow. Got a fair bit in there. I did pull apart this big light that was a light big ass cast alloy more cast alloy there uh I've come across some more aluminium wire that i'm going to be stripping out soon uh there's our pressed up blocks there's three there i've got another one in the midst of starting to press it up i don't know how much they weigh uh at a the truck rim from previous videos back extruded aluminium here ordinary aluminium this is all of our stainless all in there and down here they're all out of um, dishwashers mainly the bottom part and the door you just go along with a magnet and test it with the magnet to so see if it sticks if it doesn't stick well it's stainless we're sort of um, pulling apart also dryers that don't work and I use the dryer for all the small stuff like all the small bits and pieces that I pull apart in steel and put that in there all of our straight pipe and that sort of thing in the drum uh, all the wash machines dryers uh, dishwashers that I do pull apart we flat pack it and put it down like this makes it easier for transport so we're going to take at least two and a half hours to where, where we put it through so there's that there I've got uh, my old microwaves over there I'm going to flat pack them I'm going to use the old backhoe out there that part of it on the backhoe get up there and just go bang just flatten them out but anyway uh dishwashers dishwashers they're, they're not stainless i've gone through with the magnet tested everything there a bit of cast there so yeah anyway that's just a bit on the home front so, oh we've got our batteries down there too so that's how i've sorted things out and this is the old press that i use well, it's not old, I'm still using it. Um, we put the aluminium foil in there and even all the wine bottle tops and that sort of thing. We put them in a tote, then I pluck them out with a glove and put them in there and press them up. 
So yeah, oh, here we've got um, more wire. I haven't got around to stripping that out. Uh, I've got to sort this lot out here. So yeah, that's a bit on the home front for, for me anyway. So yeah, if you've come this far, don't forget to smash that like button. And if you consider subscribing, don't forget to hit the notification bell. That way you'll get notified when there's a new video coming up. So anyway everyone, I'm going to end it off there. It's a bit bleak and cold here today. We've got a bit of uh, overcast weather. So anyway, I will see you all in the next video. See yous!